Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Devil Lord here with game two of White Ra versus Next Genius here on Metalopolis. We see Next Genius spawning as the blue Protoss in the north section of the map, and White Ra spawning as the red Protoss in the south section here. Uh, this was, once again, from the BlizzCon 2010 Invitational. This was the Losers Bracket Finals. So the winner of this best of three goes on to face Loner in the finals, the grand finals. Uh, and the loser, of course, gets a nice and easy third place victory, which is not too shabby in itself. Uh, Metalopolis, Protoss versus Protoss in cross map positions. Uh, personally, as a Protoss player, I love Metalopolis. There are so many options on this map. Uh, you can go for Colossus and just walk across it. You can go for Blink Stalkers and try to do some cutesy sort of blinking up into your opponent's main. Uh, you can you can really do anything on this map with these cross positions. We'll probably be seeing. Uh, a more macro focused long uh, end game build out of both of these players but then again this is genius versus white raw and i am not either of those players so i'm not going to tell you what they're going to do and instead just focus on telling you what they are doing uh, so we see genius going for it's a 12 gateway again uh, much like on the last map he, he just he likes getting this gateway at 12 instead of waiting a little bit longer he he does lose out on a little bit of probe action but uh, he does get that gateway up quite a bit sooner white rob poking up into his main now he's going to see that he's here going for the very standard uh, kite path on this map where you you check the close position and then you check the cross position uh, he's going to poke around up in here and see nothing too out of the ordinary. He does notice that his gateway is a little bit farther along, but not by a whole lot. It's really hard to tell the difference between a 12 gate and a 13 gate when you're just scouting and trying to guess. Genius going for a very, very weird scouting pattern here. He checked the close position, and now it looks like he's going cross map to check uh, the proxy position here, as I like to call it. Uh... Very interesting. Uh, it might be just because White Rod did send out that scout very, very early. You might think that he is much closer than he actually is, but now he's going to see he is not there. He is, in fact, in the cross position and is going to go ahead and send his probe down there to get a little bit of scouting action going on. White Rod's still poking around in here a little bit. He's trying to do a little bit of harass and <laughs> stealing, stealing the minerals. Uh, doesn't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things, but it always just hurts so much. You know, that's five minerals I can never get back. Uh, if you're next genius in this position. See a second gateway going up for White Rye. He does have his cybernetics core making at this point. If we look up here in Genius's base, he's going again for this gate core second assimilator build. Uh, likes doing that just to get a whole lot of gas very, very early. Not bad at all. It allows him to get some, some nice tech up very, very quickly. Uh, so we'll have to see what sort of options he takes from there. Not a very macro focused focus build honestly because uh, he is going to be able to spend a whole lot more of his stuff at this point unless he just decides to set on one gateway for a while so lots of things to keep an eye on out there lots of different directions he could be going uh, and then white rye going obviously for the, the very very normal uh, gate core gate build still poking around in here he looks like he has a stalker just about to finish he's going to try and take some shots at that probe is it going to get away in time it's going to take a hit but it looks like that's going to get away no problem away from that stalker uh, his warp gates are just now uh, about about a third of the way done. Uh, Genius actually chrono boosting his warp gates. Very interesting, getting his second gateway up as well. Um, if my estimatotron is working, I'm going to guess that that warp gate is going to get finished just before that second gateway, or the warp gate research, I should say, is going to get finished just before that second gateway. Oh, right around the same time, uh, which is a great timing actually. It's actually going to line up with the stalker being finished as well. Uh, and a third gateway coming up. Uh, so, hmm, interesting. That chrono boost on that warp gate tells me that we will probably be seeing some sort of very, very aggressive play out of Genius, which is interesting because of these cross positions. He is sending out a couple of stalkers to do a little scouting action. Going to take out this probe manning this this Delmaga Watchtower. He tries to hide in the corner there, but just can't. Uh, several stalkers here from White Rye. He's going to chase Genius's stalkers away. Uh, they both have. Let's see here. They both have the same count of stalkers at this point, with White Rod just a little bit ahead in the pro count. So pretty even army matchup. Oh, Genius just now spawning in two more stalkers, but with this uh, this positioning that they got, oh no, White Rod's gonna get cut off here. Uh, and, oh dear, he loses a stalker, might lose a second one here. Does take out one of Genius's stalkers. But he's losing so much of his own. He's down to one stalker against Genius's four. Not a position you want to be in at six minutes and 49 seconds into the game. Definitely not great. White Rod going for this fast expansion, though. 
uh, at about 36. Uh, he does have four gates up, uh, or excuse me, he has two gates up and two more on the way, uh, and a robo bay in the works. Uh, but Genius just looks like he, he's not going for any expansion yet. It looks like he might just be, oh, what's this up here? A hidden Twilight Council up on the top. He's researching Blink. Has White Ross seen that yet at this point? I want to check real quick. No, he has not. In fact, he has not been in here in a while to see anything. He does not know how many gateways are up, and he does not know that that Twilight Council is up and being chrono boosted. That Blink is just about to finish, so we are going to be seeing some Blink Stalker play out of Genius here. Pulling up this, this proxy pylon, he's going to go for a very, very aggressive push here and oh no White Raw's Nexus has just finished White Raw is not in a position at all to be able to fight this off he only has two uh, two zealots and four stalkers to fight off the ten stalkers of genius uh, he does have this immortal up though this immortal is going to be able to do so much damage to those stalkers if he can get in there oh no the immortal taking target firing he's trying to run it back but that blink comes up he jumps in there finishes off that immortal uh, it's just Zealots and Stalkers against Stalkers now, and Zealots not so great against Stalkers, just, especially with Blink, just because they can be microed away. This is a horrible position for Whiterod to be in. He's doing his best as he can. He might be able to hold this off, but only just. Very, very scary position, and oh, even more Stalkers coming in now. Uh, Genius very much committing to this attack, wants to do all the damage he possibly can, taking out Zealots, taking some shots at the Nexus, taking out a probe that was there for some reason. Uh, wow, this is this is scary, scary times for White Rod. There's just so many stalkers here, blinking them, out, doing that little bit of blink micro just to get every bit of mileage out of his stalkers that he can. Pulling back, kiting away the zealots, and then jumping in. And oh, here he goes for the big push. Uh, White Rod pulling up the probes here to try and do as much damage as he can, but there's just so many stalkers for Genius here. Ten versus five, and that five is falling rapidly. And there he goes, blinking in. He's going to take out the rest of White Rod's Stalkers, and there's the GGHJ. Uh, I think that was supposed to be GJ, at least I hope it was supposed to be GJ, because um, I know what HJ stands for, and I don't think that's what White Rod meant. But yes, uh, awesome, awesome early push from, uh, from Genius there. He expected that his opponent was going to be going for a very, very macro-focused play on this map in these cross positions, and just decided to get himself some Link Stalkers and just jump in there and do all the damage he can. So... Genius uh, moves on to the uh, the Grand Finals. He will face Loner in the Grand Finals, and White Rod takes third place. Probably not news if you were following the BlizzCon tournament when it was actually going on, but uh, I'm glad to be able to bring this game, this couple of games to you guys anyway. So thanks very, very much for watching. Keep an eye here for even more games coming up in the very, very near future. I uh, will see you guys later.